Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today here in this video lecture, I am going to discuss with you about most important work by Zaidi Smith that is white teeth. So here in this video lecture, I am letting you equip with the different kinds of problems as well as challenges faced by immigrants when they are transported into a completely new space. So this novel is a kind of exploration which tries to de uh, describe about dilemmas of immigrants, not only immigrants but also their offsprings when they are confronted with new different society. So at that point of time they have to face different kinds of problems as a uh, form of challenge. So here in this novel. Zadi Smith is uh, trying to showcase through his characters that when they are transported from their own land to host land, so at that movement they have to face problems of adjustment, they have to face problems, they have to let themselves uh, accommodate and also they have to merge their identity with that of the people who are living in host land and also they find problems of adaptation and they are not able to associate themselves with the people who are living in host land. So adjustments, accommodation, assimilation, adaptation as well as association these are problems as well as challenges for these immigrants and also Zedi Smith uh, by writing such novel she is also trying to showcase us the problems that is faced by these first generation as well as second generation people are different. So uh, she is showcasing first people of first gen uh, generation by creating characters like Alsana, Samad and Clara. So these uh, are people who belongs from first generation and their problem is different from the people who are uh, categorized as second generation people. So when they are completely transported to a new place, so they are continuously being pressurized. They have to merge their identity with that of British society. So this particular thing is showcased here in this particular novel and also while merging their identity completely with this British uh, society, they also have to preserve their own native cultural values. And not only this, they are not able to claim for a place in this new surrounding. So this is another major challenge that they have to face when they settle in a new space so they are not able to claim for a place in their own uh, in their new surroundings and also they are unable to replant their roots in a new territory because their roots are only attached to their native place and they find very difficult to replant their uh, roots in this new territory in which they settled and also she at the same times trying to highlight problems faced by second generation characters uh, so uh, here she is showcasing uh, second generation characters via Eri, Magid and Milat so they are cat uh, categorized as second generation characters and they have to have to face different kinds of problems in this by living in this particular host land so they get themselves acquainted with uh, so much with host culture as a result of it they fail to identify it with the values that is attached to their own culture and as a result of it they again encounter repeated failures they are not able to adjust neither with their host culture and uh, in which they are presently living and also nor with their uh, own culture own native culture and also we find that uh, there uh, seem there appears clashes between them as well as their parents because their parents uh, tries to give them advice on different different matters to which they consider not important they think that they are only uh, enough to take decisions in their life in their own life so they uh, try to ignore their parents ad advice in their own life they think that their parents are interfering in their life and so they always tries to ignore their parents advice now here i am 
proceeding uh, with this video lecture so this particular novel was published in the year 2000 and it focuses on the lives of two wartime friends whose name is Bangladeshi Samad Iqbal so this particular uh, person Samad Iqbal belongs from Bangladesh and another one Archie Jones he is an Englishman and these two people uh, they left their own country and transported to some other country and they situated themselves in a place which is in London. Then this no novel received continuously received several kinds of awards. First in the year 2000 this novel received James Tate Black Memorial Prize for Fiction then again White Bread Book Award then Guardian First Book Award then Commonwealth Writers First Book Prize then Betty Trask Award then uh, name of this particular novel appeared in Times Magazine which is a London based magazine and also included among 100 best English novels uh, language novels from the year span of 1923 till 2000. In the year 2019, the novel was ranked 39th on the Guardian's list of the 100 best books of the 21st century. Then again in the year 2019, this particular novel was uh, included among 100 most influential novels. Now I am describing about this particular novel. There is a character whose name is Archie Jones who is uh, 47 years old and he married twice. First to Ophelia Diagelo, uh, who is an Italian wife, and another two. Uh, after some time, he got married to Clara Borden. So, uh, at the uh, start of this particular novel, we are showcased that this particular character, Archie Jones, is uh, in a disturbed mental condition because his wife continuously kept on showering abuses. She continuously tortures him due to which his mental health decline and he is planning to commit suicide. But uh, suddenly we see also see in this particular novel that he uh, is involved in some little interruption due to which he grew optimistic and again develops uh, enthusiasm and enthusiasm for life. He uh, switches off his plan uh, of committing suicide and rather committing suicide he decides to relive his life and enjoy whatever he is uh, shown in this particular life. So he tries to enjoy every pulp of life, every movement of life and then we see that there is a coin in his hand and in that particular coin there appears two sides first one is head and another one is tail so he already chosen in his mind before flipping that particular coin that uh, uh, if he chooses the side which he has already chosen in, uh, in his mind so if that particular side appears after flipping so he decides at that point of time he decides to join new year party eve and if that uh, side doesn't appear after flipping coin so he won't join ha uh, this new year eve so this uh, he decided but when he flipped uh, coin which is in his hand so the side which he has chosen in his mind appeared and then suddenly he decided to join happy new year eve so then so Archie flips a coin and then he went to New Year's Eve party. Then there he meets a Jamaican woman whose name is Clara Borden. And this particular character, she is more interested in a man uh, that, uh, and whose name is Ryan Tops. And this particular man, Ryan Tops is unattractive as well as antisocial but Clara loves him and then suddenly she met a person whose name is Archie in New Year party Eve so suddenly at that point of time she tries to maintain her relation she uh, at that point of time broke her relation with Ryan Tops and uh, immediately got married to Archie because they develop uh, in the in this particular uh, novel they develop some kind of uh, understanding and they are very much attracted towards each other 
so they decided to marry each other and they have a daughter whose name is after their marriage they have a uh, daughter whose name is iri please remember this character then we are again here introduced to another family of samad ikpal who is bengali muslim from bangladesh and he is archie's best friend archie met him in the year 1945 and uh, in uh, the year 1945 they both were soldiers and part of a tank crew in the final days of world war 2 so uh, from that point of time they are friends and they continued their friendship till the end and they always try to spend their time meeting each other at a place which is called as o'connell's pub so whenever they used to meet they meet at this particular place that is o'connell's pub then and then uh, there is a character whose name is samad he after settling in britain he got married to alsana and after their marriage alsana given birth to twin boys whose names are magid as well as milad and also at this point of time we see that there is a fall in the character of samad because when he make his identity completely merged with that of english society he got so much uh, influence from this english lifestyle that we found there is a fall in his character samad being a muslim he is not able uh, to remain completely devoted to islamic values in an english life as we see examples here that he starts menstruating as well as involved in drinking activities also he maintains affair with his children's music teacher whose name is poppy bot jones so here we see his muslim values are corrupted and he is not able to remain loyal towards his religious values and uh, in an attempt to preserve traditional values he tries to send his own 10 year son to bangladesh in the hope that he will grow up properly under the teachings of islam so here you can see some kind of hypocrisy involved here that uh, samad who is uh, who himself are uh, not able to remain loyal towards his religious values but he is expecting his children to remain to uh, loyal towards muslim values kind of a consequence a father who himself uh, won't even remain uh, loyal towards his religious values but he is expecting that from his son but his son also turns out to be completely different from what he uh, what his father samad expected of him so magid here becomes anglicized atheist and he devotes his complete life to signs so here atheist stands for he doesn't believe in any kind of god and he devotes his complete life uh, in uh, science uh, being involved in discoveries as well as inventions and also his son another son milad he uh, became womanizer and also he starts drinking and he harbored a love for mob movies and also uh, we see in this character milad that he realizes pain of marginal uh, marginalization so there is a uh, in english society uh, milad's community is uh, he realized that milad's community is given a marginalized status for which he tries to uh, raise his voice against this status of marginalization so uh, in this work uh salman rushdie's satanic verses he opposes uh, this particular work because it tries to showcase or portray islamic values in a negative light so this work uh, by Sal- uh, salman rushdie that is satanic verses uh, so milad tries to raise voice against this particular work because this work is trying to portray islamic uh, values as well as people belonging from islam in a very negative light and also this character milad pledges himself to join militant muslim fundamentalist brotherhood known as cavin keepers of the victorious islamic nation in this novel we are introduced to another family of chalfin and chalfin family is 
uh, actually a Jewish Catholic family comprises of Cambridge educated intellectuals and there are few characters uh, Marcus Chelfin who is a father as well as by profession he is a university lecturer then Joyce Chelfin who is a horticulturist as well as a mother and their son name is Joshua Chalfin and this family tries acts as a uh, safeguard to these characters whose names are Iri, Milat and Magid. So Chalfin family provides a safe haven to these children and accepts and understands the turbulent lives of Iri, Magid as well as Milat. And we later on we see that their uh, Iri involved in a sexual encounter with Milat and this causes her to be pregnant and in the end she is not uh, comes to know the reality who is her who is the actual father of her child because both these brothers Milat as well as Magid look very similar to each other so she in the end got really confused that who is actual father of her own child here in this work we also see that there is a character whose name is Milat. He tries to kill Dr. Parrot because uh, pa Dr. Parrot is involved. Uh, he is a director of uh, Future Mouse Project to whom Milat opposes and in the way Archie comes and he tries to block the path because he does not want, Archie does not want Milat should kill this particular character whose name is Dr. Parrot. So Archie blocks the path of the bullet with his own body. Then we see that uh, after some time in the novel, uh, later on, we see that Magid as well as Milad, they are sentenced to community service. So, this is a kind of punishment which is given to both these characters because they are held as culprit and uh, they were falsely blamed that they have uh, attempted assassination or killed Dr. Parrot. And in reality, they haven't killed because Archie blocked their path. So, uh, they were falsely blamed of attempting assassination or attempting murder of Dr. Parrot. Then uh, at the end of this particular novel, we find that Joshua as well as Eri begin dating each other and they raise Eri's daughter all together. And uh, the identity of child's father uh, means that uh, Eri's child's actual father is uh, whom this identity still remains unknown or is never revealed so uh, who is the real father of iri's daughter so either magi or milat is never revealed then we also see that uh, mickey uh, he is minor character in this particular novel uh, opens up the previously men only pub so earlier we see that this particular o'connell pub here only men used to visit but now mickey opened doors of this particular pub and he allowed women to also to come here at this particular pub and discuss their events with each other and also archie as well as samad invite their wives at this particular pub along with them so archie and uh, samad they also went in this pub and uh, they all together invited their wives along with them to visit in this pub that is o'connell pub about zaidi smith's another novel that is the autograph men this novel is considered as her second novel published by her in the year 2002 and in the year 2003 this particular novel received jewish quarterly wingate literary prize and this novel is not uh, equal to white teeth or holds no match to white teeth but still it is uh, this novel is considered as a commercial success by many critics because a uh, lot many copies of this particular novel got sold in the market. So in this sense, this particular novel received commercial success, but it is not equal or no match to her former work that is The White Teeth. And also, uh, Zaidi Smith, while writing this particular novel, she herself stated that before she started writing this particular novel, 
uh, which is the autograph men so she at that point of time suffered writer's block so writer's uh, block is a kind of condition which is primarily associated with writing in which authors uh, suffers uh, or he's unable to produce new work or experiences a creative slowdown and he uh, when he suffers writer's block he is unable to produce a work for years so uh, uh, zaidi smith is gone through such condition of writer's block and this novel tries to talk about jewish chinese londoner whose name is alex lee tendum who buys as well as sells autograph for a living so here in this novel this novel is a kind of exploration about a character whose name is uh, alex lee tendum so he always uh, loves to buy and sell autographs in order to uh, earn his living and he always remain obsessed with different kinds of celebrities which is portrayed in this particular novel and his obsession culminates in a meeting with the elusive american russian actress whose name is kitty alexander who is a star from hollywood's golden age so uh, his obsession actually turns out into a reality he in a real sense meets an american russian actress whose name is kitty alexander so this particular novel only talks about a character's obsession with autographs who loves to buy as well as sell autographs in order to earn his living then with this this particular video lecture ends here hope this video lecture will help you in your ugc net english literature exam